Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got three line segments A, B, B, C, and C, D, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, these lines are perpendicular to each other, as you can see as well. And now we are going to calculate the distance A, D. So we are going to solve this problem by two different methods. So sit back and relax and see how I proceed. So let's get started with the very first method and the method we will be using is called Pythagorean Theorem. And here's the very first step. Let's go ahead and connect points A and D. This is our point A and this is our point D. Let's go ahead and connect these points real, really careful and here is our much nicer looking diagram and now in this next step we are going to connect points ea and ec and here i am going to put a point e somewhere here such that we are going to connect this a e and ec such that this a E is equal to this side B C and then this A B equal to E C and this is a 90 degree angle and here's our much nicer looking diagram and here's our next step we know that this B C is 7 and then these two sides are equal in length. So that means AE is going to be seven as well. And likewise, this AB and EC, they are equal in length and AB is 10. So this side EC is going to be 10 units as well. So this combined, this ED length is going to be 10 plus 14 is going to give us 24. So thus we conclude that our ED distance is 24, AE is 7, and now we will calculate this distance AD. And now let's focus on this triangle AED, and we know that this triangle is a right triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And over here in this triangle AED, our longest leg is AD. I am going to call this side C. This horizontal leg ED, I'm going to call A. And this vertical side AE, I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, a is 24. Let's go ahead and put down 24 square plus b in our case is 7 square equal to c is simply a d square. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. That is 24 square is going to give us 576 plus 49 equals to a d square so let's go ahead and add them up so a d square is going to be 625 let's undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so our AD simply turns out to be AD distance is 25. So thus the distance AD turns out to be 25. And now let's get started with our second method and this method is called coordinate geometry and we will be using x y coordinates as you can see over here and moreover i have superimposed this our figure on this x y plane such that this point c is at this origin zero zero 
So let's focus on this Cartesian plane and we can see our point B's location is simply 0, 7, isn't it? And this point A is going to be negative 10, 7. And finally, this point D is going to be 14, comma, 0. And now we are going to calculate the distance between this point A and D. And we know A is simply our point A is negative 10, 7. And our point D is 14, comma, 0. And here's our distance formula, the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. And in these points A and D, I'm going to call this order pair as x1, y1. And this next order pair, I'm going to call it x2 and y2. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our this distance is going to be a d equal to, let's take care of the square root of x2 in our case is 14 minus, and then x1 is negative 10 square plus y2 in our case is 0 minus y1 is 7 square. Let's go ahead and simplify that thing. That's going to give us 14 negative and negative become positive 10 square plus this is going to become negative 7 square. So that is going to give a square root of 24 square plus this thing is simply positive 49. So that is going to give us 24 squared is 576 plus 49. That means that is going to give a square root of 625. And that is a perfect square. So this could be written as 25. So our distance AD turns out to be 25. So thus our this distance AD turns out to be 25. And now, as you can see, we have used two different methods. First one was Pythagorean theorem, and the second method was coordinate geometry. And in both cases, we have got the same answer, which is AD equals to positive 25. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.